Let's talk about the fruit of kindness. Amen. Amen. And when you talk about kindness, when you read dictionaries, talk about being friendly or being considerate. Amen. Kind, being kind, you know. We hear this word a lot, she is kind, he is kind, and all that. And it means somebody is friendly or is considerate to others. Amen. Amen. Yes, and I believe it's, it's a wonderful fruit of the Holy Spirit. Kindness. Amen. We know that our God is so kind to us. He's so friendly to us. He's so considerate to us. And that's why that He keeps always forgiving us. He keeps always washing our, our sins with His blood. Amen. Amen. And because of this, it, this is tender kindness, this kindness, that even He sent the Lord Jesus Christ. And we can be able to have the grace to access Him every single day in Jesus' mighty name. So when you talk about kindness, we talk about being friendly or showing consideration to something or to somebody. Amen. Amen. And God also wants us to express the fruit of kindness. As you are in the family of God, as here or your family is back at home, all the friends that God gives unto you, He needs us to be considerate to them. He needs us to be friendly to them according to his word in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 And so, it's for us to have because, you know, the way if we have to be kind, it's, it's, we can only be kind if we understand that our God is kind to us. Amen. Because the Bible says that he comforts us to comfort us. So it means he is kind to us, so that also we can be able to be kind to others. Amen. And unless we understand that God has been so kind to us, it's very difficult to express or to extend that hand of kindness to somebody else. Amen. So just think about the kindness of God that he has shown in your life. And again, we examine also in your life that do you extend the same kindness to the people that God has blessed you with? Do you extend the same kindness even maybe to those you call maybe enemies. Do you extend the same kindness maybe to the members of your families and even to strangers? Because it's the desire of God that you may extend kindness to everybody. Amen? And everybody, people whether born again or not born again, everybody appreciates kind people. Everybody appreciates kindness. Amen? And if, when you talk about a lot with a lot of people are not born again, they always talk about kindness. He's so kind. She is so kind. It means it's a quality that it brings a blessing to all aspects of life. Amen. 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 <laughs> yes, yeah, so I just want to encourage us that let us work on this fruit of kindness. And as I say, to be able to work on it, the first thing that we have to re examine ourselves to see the kind of lifestyle that we live every single day. Are we only me, 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 me? Or are we always willing in our heart to extend our hand of help, to be considered to somebody else? Amen? Because you have seen, or also you have seen also maybe different scenarios. There are people who are always only willing, maybe, when they need kindness, they are, they are only willing to receive kindness, but they are never willing to extend kindness. And the Bible says, for the measure that we give also shall be given back to us. It's the word of God. Amen. Amen. And it means the, the, the way to receive kindness is to give kindness. It's the same way. The way to receive love is to give love. Because a lot of people in the world, they say, people are not kind. People are not loving. People are not faithful. But very few people sit down and think, am I, am I faithful myself? Am I kind? Am I loving? Because the way to receive that kindness is to be kind. The way to receive love, it is to love. Amen? Amen. The more we love, the more we experience love. The more we show the kindness, the more we experience back in our life in Jesus' mighty name. And I need to be avoid this, the thought of the enemy that he always try to, like, to, to put in our mind that in the world that we are living, nobody who is kind. In the world that we are living, nobody is loving. You should remind him that 
even nobody is kind, then I'll be that person. Amen? Don't wait for somebody to come somewhere to be kind to you. Be the one to express that kindness. And as you express it, if you express it, and you express it in the way of God, also God will make the people extend their kindness in one or another. Also to be kind unto others in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And it's wonderful to be kind to others. And I believe also to be able to be kind to others, don't expect them they are going to return it to you. <laughs> Amen. Because sometimes we are kind to people, and in the end they do the opposite. <laughs> Amen. And sometimes people say, oh no, then that's all. I close my door. But we should not be like that. Because our God is always kind to us every single day. He forgives us the same sin today. Tomorrow we come again, Papa. <laughs> again. He forgives us again. Tomorrow the same thing again, Papa. And He forgives me again. And He continues extending His strength and His kindness to us. And that is the same thing to us. That should also happen to us. That even people that we express kindness, and sometimes they don't show it back. We should continue. We should not stop extending that kindness. Amen? And one way that I've learned, if you want to extend this and for it to be constant in your life, do it as, you are, as a service. Not expecting a reward from those people, but expecting a reward from the Heavenly Father. Do it as you are serving. You are doing it to express the glory of God. You are doing it to please God. You are doing it because you love God. And in a such a way, you never get tired of expressing kindness. Because in the first place, you are doing it to glorify God. You are doing it to bring glory to your Father. Not to the son, not to the person you are extending the kindness to. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, so, I believe that maybe those who have been discouraged, maybe express kindness to somebody or to some people, and they did not return it back, they did not return it. I believe you'll be encouraged to continue showing kindness to them, to continue extending that hand, because that's the only way they'll get to know that you walk with Christ. Because there is only, it's only one man, that is Christ Jesus, who is always consistent and constant. And those who follow him, also they have to become like him. Amen? Because the Bible says, maybe if we have to see him, we have to walk as Jesus did. And as he walked your heart, he always expressed kindness to different people, in different scenarios. Even when they wanted to kill him, he still continued expressing his kindness to them. Amen. So, express kindness as a way of service, that you are serving these people for the glory of God. But any time we do it because of our flesh, it will retaliate and it will be painful. Amen? Because the flesh will also want, okay, I did it also, I want it back. I'm waiting, waiting, waiting 20 years. It's not like that. Stop. <laughs> Close the door. <laughs> but when we do it because we are serving God, even when the people, they don't bring it back, or they Nobody shows it, you continue doing it because you are doing it for the Heavenly Father. Amen. And I believe this applies to all other fruits of the Holy Spirit. We have to do them, we have to express them as a way of service, as a way of bringing glory to our Heavenly Father in Jesus' mighty name. And that's the way to remain consistent and to be every day you are the same person. Every day you are the same person because you do everything you do to bring glory to your Father in Jesus' mighty name. So let us desire to be kind and also let's pray also, even for the world, for our families, that even everybody will come to that level of expressing kindness as a way of service, of the way of expressing God's character into the lives of His precious people. In Jesus' mighty name. And I believe even in this way that we get to win a lot of people to Christ. Amen. Because a lot of people, they are not interested in listening a lot of messages or quoting scriptures. A lot of people, they are just interested in watching your life. The lifestyle that you 
with me. And if they see kindness, they begin to see something unique. And they get interested that why do I do this thing? And this somebody that he continue expressing the same kindness to me. Amen. So when it becomes a lifestyle, also it's a way of bringing people to Christ. It's a way of bringing lost souls back to Christ. Amen. Even those who have fallen short of the Lord's grace, it's a way of bringing them back to know that still God is kind, that God still cares for them, that He is friendly, He is still considerate. And how can He express that? He can only express that through you and me. Amen. Because He can't violate His word. He can't come as a spirit. Because if He comes as a spirit, He will violate His word. And we always say that God honors His word above His name. Amen. And that is why He means a vessel that is full of kindness. That's you and me. That He may manifest that kind of fruit, that kind of quality in the life of His precious people. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. So, I believe you are blessed. And I believe you have been blessed as you have been sharing about the fruits of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And I pray that they are going to be, and they are already practical in our lives, in the future, and forever, as long as we live here till we meet our Heavenly Father that day. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Yes, and as I finish, as we began, it says that they shall know them by their fruits. So know that they shall know us by our fruits. We have learned about all the fruits of the Holy Spirit. You can still continue learning more in the Word of God. And remember that they shall know you by your fruits. Amen. Not by what we say but by the fruit that we produce. Amen. So in every day that you are living, also ask yourself, which kind of fruits am I producing? In this job I'm doing, in this thing I'm participating, which kind of fruits am I producing? Am I producing bitter fruits? Or am I producing wonderful fruits that are going to bring life in the lives of many people? Amen. So, God bless us. Amen. Amen. Yeah, and let's continue producing good fruits in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So let us be on our feet. So I just think you are going to just to pray and ask God that you have here shared about all these fruits of the Holy Spirit. I believe the word that God sends in us is to accomplish a certain purpose in our lives. Amen. Because the word of God in the book of Isaiah chapter 55 from 12 downward of 11 to 13, it says the word that he sends to us, it will not return to him empty, but it will accomplish every purpose for which he has destined for our lives. So I just need to ask you, ask God, that if, as we have been shared about the fruit of the Holy Spirit, that is are going to accomplish the job you wanted to accomplish in your life in Jesus' mighty name. And that in all the days of your life, you will express the fruit of the Holy Spirit in Jesus' mighty name. Ask Him also for the grace to be able to express this fruit of the Holy Spirit in all the days of your life in Jesus' mighty name. And that every day as you become the president, Every day, as you become the minister, as you become that senator, as you become that evangelist, you remind you, remind you always every day about the fruits of the Holy Spirit. About knowing that the world is looking at the fruits that you are producing. The world is feeding on the fruits that you are producing. So pray in the name of Jesus for the grace and for the reminder every single day in Jesus' mighty name.